What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Tonight, we're taking a look at a very unique company. In my opinion, this beard company has differentiated themselves from all the competition out there. And I thought I'd get into character a little bit to get going with this review. So tonight, we're actually talking about Fable Beard Company. And so Fable Beard Company is headquartered by Colin. He is AKA The Wizard. They're based out of Lexington, Virginia. You can find them at fablebeardco.com. Again, that's fablebeardco.com. I'll actually put a link below that's actually gonna give you 15% off any of your purchases. You can also use the discount code NOBS15. Again, I'll link this all below. But their beard oils here go for $18 a piece for a one ounce container. And then you've got a two ounce beard balm that goes for $22. And so I've been really impressed with Fable um, just from the presentation. As I mentioned, they're very unique. Um, they don't have scents. They have characters. And so the first one we'll look at here in a minute is the Archer. I've also got the Scribe. Love the artwork on all of these. We've got Captain Red. And then lastly... We've got the engineer, and I'll go through the scents on each of these. And I think I'm actually, I'm lobbying Colin here to create his own character of me. Let's get the no BS character going. <laughs> but Colin was nice enough to send these nice letters out. You can see Cerber shares on there, stamped in wax with the F for Fable. Thought that was a super cool thing to do. But again, let's jump in. Let's talk about each of these scents. So first up, let's talk about the Scribe. Now the Scribe is a coffee scented beard oil. Get up close there. Look at that artwork. Absolutely amazing. And so ingredients, I'll let you see those, are gonna be coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argon oil, sweet almond oil, and then the essential oils. So the scribe here, as I mentioned, is a rich, decadent coffee scent. Man, that just is like, it almost smells like a very frothy cappuccino to me. It's very rich. I mean, just a warm coffee scent. I really enjoy this one. I mean, I can almost picture myself at a cafe in Paris sipping out of a little cup, you know, that espresso. You get a little bit of the frothiness from the milk, but the rich, rich, dark espresso beans. Very good. If you, if you like coffee, you like coffee scents, absolutely recommend the engineer, or excuse me, the scribe. Next up, we've got Captain Red. Now, Captain Red here, again, check out that cool artwork. This is gonna be a coconut, spearmint, bay rum, and fresh lime. I absolutely love, love, love this scent. This is gonna be my go-to summer scent. You know, I'm down in Charleston, South Carolina. It gets very hot down here. And in the summer, I love a good mixed drink. And to me, this smells like a Mai Tai. If you've ever had a Mai Tai, it's a mixture of pineapple juice and dark rum. That's exactly what this smells like to me. Um, now it does have the coconut, the spearmint, the bay rum, and that fresh lime. Just overall, this is a great scent. I've been wearing this one a lot already. Definitely looking forward to using this more come spring and summer. This is a great, great, great scent. Very unique as well. This is very unique. I've not smelled any other scent like this. You know, it does say a, a bay rum pirate blend beard oil. In my mind, this is a up, upgraded bay rum scent. Um, to me, I really get kind of that pineapple-y dark rum. Man, this takes me back to Hawaii. Uh, just such a great scent. All right, next up, we will talk about the engineer. The engineer. Let's take a look at the artwork for that guy. Now, I will mention these labels are great. 100% oil proof. You can see the Fable logo there. Absolutely love that logo. Now the engineer, this is a spice citrus scent. So 
This is a little bit different of a spice citrus scent too. I really enjoy this. It's got sweet orange, lemongrass, and clove. And that's almost the exact same order. I smell those in and get hints of them. You get hit right off the top of your nose with that sweet orange. I get a hint of lemongrass and also a hint of kind of clove rounding things up. This is a great, great spice citrus scent. Um, I'm a fan of spice citrus. I like to wear these more kind of in the fall, gearing up for Christmas. Uh, but this is a good one. That sweet orange makes this a year round scent. So very impressed with the engineer there. All right, the final scent we're gonna take a look at is in my opinion, I love this logo, the Archer. I love that bright green, how that pops on that label. Now the Archer, this is a Fables woodsy blend. And it's much more than just your traditional pine and cedar and all that. This is actually cedar wood, juniper berries, and cinnamon. And I've been wearing this a lot too. This, to me, you get a little bit of the cedar wood, but what really stands out to me is the juniper berries and cinnamon, which makes for a very unique scent. Go ahead and throw some of this in the beard. You can see it's a pretty clear. Now the oil weight's about a medium consistency. Go ahead and get that top screwed on. Now, probably should have taken my bull horns off, but we'll go ahead and throw it on with the horns in and all, because we are the no BS. I don't know what my character would be called. Get that in there. Go ahead and comb it through. Yeah, it's great. Medium weight oil. Um, scent duration on these. It's a good six to eight hours. Um, again, on that Archer, I definitely get juniper berries and cinnamon throughout the day. My wife really liked this one as well. We've also got the Archer here in the Beard Balm. Now, Colin recently redid his Beard Balms. He used to use uh, a beeswax. I don't know where it was from, but then he changed that to all organic beeswax from Virginia. Um, if you don't know, Virginia has the best beeswax out there. Uh, maybe a little bit biased because I'm originally from Virginia, but um, you can see that nice, rich yellow color from that organic beeswax. And so, Ingredients on this are shea butter, the beeswax, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and then the essential oils. And so this is a good, let's say medium. It's not super hard to get out, but it's not easy to get out either. I'll go ahead and throw some of this in. Now the scent on this really just complements that beard oil as well. Gives you a little bit of shine, which I like. It's not over shiny. Just really an overall great product. I was super impressed. I have seen a lot of reviews on Fable Beard Co. I feel like I was the last person in the world to ever try it. I'm glad I did, because it's a great product. Now, as I mentioned, the beard oils go for $18, your balms are gonna go for $22. And again, use my link below, that's gonna give you 15% off automatically. Uh, or you can use the discount code NOBS15, but I'd just go ahead and use that link below. I mean, it's already taken off for you. Uh, but guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Fable Beard Co. Really enjoyed these products, had fun with them. I think you got a really cool company uh, very unique, which I like. You know, if we were all cookie cutter and the same, life would be boring. And so good to kind of step out, have fun with the different characters. I know Colin, I believe, is in uh, making a new character here pretty soon. Again, we're lobbying for the no, no BS bullhorn. I don't know what it would be. But guys, as always, thank you so much to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit the link here. Click on my ugly mug. 
Um, but as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful night. Enjoy the week with your friends and family. Take care.